So now we're gonna go to the Mexican style chicken stew. Again, it's the same thing. This is basically the same thing as the other one did. We're gonna open this now. These are really fucking hard to open. No, we're using scissors again because I don't got patience and my son might wake up at any moment. Here is our Mexican chicken stew. I'm kind of nervous about this. Mango peach applesauce. Okay. My husband was telling me about this. It's the same thing. It tells you like the carbohydrates, the protein and the fat on the back. And then it also tells you the nutrition facts. However, this is also what we're gonna use to heat up our Mexican chicken stew. Yeah. And then we also have cheese-filled pretzels. We got the cranberry grape beverage stuff, napkins, gum again. Wow. And salt and a towelette in here. I'm not gonna really open that just because I don't wanna be wasteful. Another chocolate nutritious energy bar. I wonder if all the same things come in them. My husband was actually telling me that he got a pizza slice one, which is apparently like really rare. Cheese spread with jalapenos. Mm, I'm not sure if I trust these cheese spreads, man. It just sounds gross. Crackers. These are hard, like, to dip in the stew maybe, you know? And this is chocolate hazelnut cocoa beverage powder. And then we got crushed red pepper. Oh wow, so cool. They really thought about this. And then we have a spoon, like we did the last meal. This right here is the heater. These bitches get hot. They get hot. My, I tested one, my husband was showing me how to do it. And Lord. I suppose first, should we start with our chicken stew or should we open this mango peach applesauce? I'm kind of interested in the mango peach applesauce because I do typically have a sweet tooth over it, something savory. So does this have an expiration date? I don't think it does and that's very like, wee. We're gonna open our mango peach. Oh, it just exploded everywhere. It's not bad. Oh, you're supposed to just. Boo. Ready? We're gonna try this mango peach applesauce. I'm gonna really smell weird, you know? That's not bad. I will say, I do prefer my applesauce holder, but obviously, when you're in the rains, you don't get that choice. Oh! I think this is all in my head right now, but it doesn't taste good because I know it's coming out of a pouch. Like all of this is coming out of bags and that just in my head registers no. But this isn't bad. This mango peach applesauce. Not bad. We'll open the chocolate flavored nutritious energy bar. Yep. These things, I mean it smells like chocolate but like in a way it smells like plastic too. Ben's just like the other one. Tastes just like the other one. Really chewy. Ugh, I'm nervous for this stew. We should save this. We're gonna try the snack next before we make our stew. Cheddar flavor cheese filled pretzels. I don't think my husband gave me a bad one. I think he gave me good. Oh, these look like uh, combos. Right? They kind of look like combos. And they taste like them too. I want another one. I'm really confused what this is supposed to go on. If it's supposed to go on the crackers or if the spread is supposed to go in the stew. I doubt it goes in the stew, but I don't, I don't know. Okay, so my husband said that I can put this cheese spread with jalapenos on anything that I want. I really don't want it in anything, but um, we're gonna drink this chocolate hazelnut cocoa beverage powder. And the directions on it say, directions for use, allow water just chemically purified to stand 30 minutes before adding to powder. Tear pouch at notch. Open zipper at six ounces of hot or cold water, fourth canteen cup, to fill line. Close zipper, shake to mix, consume promptly within one hour, single use only. We're gonna do the deed. Not the dirty deed, but you know. So we opened it. And got my cup of water right here. So we're just... It probably expects you to pour your canteen, I would assume, in here because this ain't, this ain't a big hole. Okay, but... Is there a way to tell? I feel coldness right here, so I'm assuming that we're good. Okay. So we're gonna close this zipper. It's cool that it has a zipper. Shake to mix. 
We're shaking it to mix it. Smells like cocoa. Okay, we're gonna take our, oh, that does not look appetizing. You see that? Looks like sadness. Oh God, oh God. I do not like chocolate, guys, that much. I have to have a very particular type of chocolate in this, this ain't it. Ugh. It's so overwhelming. Oh! Go taste the hazelnut. It's good. I mean, for people that like chocolate, they'll probably like that, but I don't like chocolate that much. The hazelnut part, I can taste. I really can. Wow, I, so far I spilled buffalo sauce and now this shit. I'm just, I'm just going in here. Damn it. Oh, we gotta, we gotta moist on it. Yes. If you think this is gonna get my stain out, comment down below. If you don't think it is, also comment down below. This is the best we can do and it looks worse. Wow, that looks bad. So, we're gonna make our stew, but I need more water first. This should be enough. So, we take this bag, and this is our heater. So it says, meal ready to eat heater. So we're gonna tear here to use the bag. It's pointing right there, but there's no tear. And there's a warning. There actually is a tear, it's just very tiny. So, I'm gonna do that. There, let's open her up. Taking our Mexican chicken stew and we're putting it somehow in here. If it would go, it's really toy like a toy girl. Name that movie. There we go. Oh my god, finally. Remove emery pouch and paperboard sleeve from emery. Tear off the top of the bag, place emery in pouch bag with heater. While holding emery pouch and heater above lines, above lines on bag, pour water into bag until it reaches a level between lines. Slide heater and emery to bottom of bag and fold top of bag to opposite side of heater. Oh, I overflowed it. Can you hear that? This slide that we saw at the beginning that has the nutrition facts. Ooh, this is kind of scary. I'm gonna put this on here so we don't burn ourselves. If you were here right now, I literally smell, oh, it's warm. I smell chemicals. Like, this could burn you. This this bad boy is gonna wait for 10 to 15 minutes and then we're gonna try our, our stew. All right, so while we're waiting for that, we're actually gonna try these crackers. Just a little bit. I do wanna try them with the stew. So again, this is what it looks like. Hard as a rock. Oh, I don't. I don't know why I didn't expect them to look like this. Um, they don't really smell good. I'll be honest with you. It smells like like stale bread. I'm gonna break these. Ooh. Okay. We're gonna try it clean. My taste buds are really sad. God, it's it's so dry. Hopefully it'll be better with the stew. So we got this cheese spread with jalapenos. I might try this because I like jalapenos, but if this spread looks anything like the other, I'll let you guys see. Ew, okay, so this is what they mean by with jalapenos. Oh, this is um, what they're talking about. Oh my God, this looks like a pig. Oh my God. Same, no, we're not eating this. I'm sorry, I can't. I can't, like. Oh, oh. It's not jalapenos, but I can't eat that. I am sorry, guys. Call me a puss. Call me whatever you want. But I can't. I can't bring myself to eat that. Oh, our stew should be done. It's so warm. Okay. So, we're just gonna pull it out. Mm. I forgot that we had to eat this. It smells like chemicals. Lord. Oh, I have to knead the MRA to ensure a uniform temperature. Caution, the contents will be hot. Good thing I got scissors. This for real is really warm. Like you could burn yourself. So please kids, if you find one of your parents or whoever's MRA, then be careful with it. So some of this is not, does not feel warm. The bottom does, the top does not. Let's open our stew. My fingers are like all, this, the bag is like wet. You probably can't tell on camera, but it is from the water that we poured inside. 
Okay, it, it really does like smell like Mexican stew though. How does the stew? So we're gonna open our spoon again. Ooh, packet is warm. I put it on my thighs and ooh, we're gonna just mix it up. Mmm. And dinner is served. Let's just get a close up of that. Mmm. Looks like slop. This isn't hot. How is the chicken? This is like the corn and stuff. This isn't bad. Like I can see eating this for dinner or something, not from an MRE, but give me something warm, what the hell? This isn't bad. Mm -mm. Well, let me put this down and we can get our final thoughts. We'll, we'll do this in another video, guys, I promise. Final thoughts. Personally, believe it or not, and I can't believe I'm saying this, but I really liked the Mexican chicken stew uh, significantly more than I like the chicken chunks cooked. I don't know why. I really just, the stew was really good. The crackers in the Mexican one sucked. The chocolate bar was the same, it was eh. Chocolate drink, cocoa drink, that was okay. If I was actually more of a fan of chocolate, I would have liked it more. I feel like the chicken chunks one came with like better side stuff. Like, you need really eat Reese's Pieces, like really, come on. I forget which one these cheese filled pretzel things came with, but these were the bomb. They tasted just like combos. And the tail mix was good too, like with the pretzels. And I don't like almonds, but the cashews and everything, that was great. So uh, overall, these weren't that bad. The one thing that did get me was the consistency and like the sliminess of the chicken. It just kind of made me gag a little. I did not like that. I don't think I could ever eat these in the field, but I guess you gotta deal with what you're given. We are going to end this video right here. And if you would like to leave me a like or comment, then feel free to let me know why you liked it, why you didn't like it. And I will get back to you again with another video soon.